Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Beatrice. Today's practice is a full body yin practice. For this one, you don't need any props, but if you really want to use props, you can always make use of a blanket, a bolster and a, a block. So uh, if you know that you like a blanket to pad your knees in child's pose or a block to let your head be heavy on or a bolster to hug in child's pose, you're welcome to use them, but you don't need any props. So we're starting from seated, making sure we're grounding into both sitting bones. Just a minute to ground our body, to bring our mind into the practice. Palms are down on the knees. If you don't want to sit cross-legged, that's fine as well, you don't have to. And drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Let the sitting bones be heavy on the ground. If closing your eyes makes you feel uncomfortable, you don't have to close your eyes. And you can look down instead, soften your gaze. Start to soften the breath, bring it down to the belly, away from the chest. And remember that if at any time during the practice your mind wanders, and it probably will, just take it back to the sound of your breath the movement of your breath. And if you get lost in thoughts, that's fine. There's no need to judge. It's great that you've noticed. Just take it back to the breath. And just another couple of breaths here. Starting on practice in half butterfly. So you can keep the right foot in towards the groin, left foot opens out, le legs, leg, left leg opens out. Make sure that both sitting bones are staying on the ground here. And we're starting to face towards the left leg. Be sure that your foot is soft. We don't need to hold any muscular engagement in yin. And as we exhale, Walk in the hands either side of the leg and finding a space in which we feel some sensation, a little bit of challenge. Either in the side of the body, in the lower back. If you need to readjust your hips, do so. And this is a place in which you can use a block if you want to, to support your forehead, to support your head but you don't need to have it. You can let your head be heavy and hang down towards the ground. And taking this time of stillness to notice any sensation in the body. Here it might be in the lower back, it might be in the, that right side of your body. Maybe you feel it in the shoulders. Reminding yourself not to push or pull yourself into any posture. So we're just going wherever the body wants to go naturally. And it doesn't matter if the posture doesn't look as you would like it to look, that's fine. What matters is how it feels. Once you get into your posture without pain, 
but with sensation, finding your edge. And allow your body to drop into stillness. Just one more minute here. On your inhale, start to walk the hands back towards your upper body, towards your hips, and lift your chest up to the sky. You can bring yourself back to center to face forward. Bring the arms behind you and open the chest wide. Come back through center, and we're switching legs. So left leg comes in, left leg comes in, right leg opens out. Again, readjusting your hips if you need to. Staying on the other side for the same amount of time. Walking ourselves out to the right. Relaxing that foot. And then starting to move into our fold. And again, finding your edge. If you feel that you start to notice sensation here in this left side of your lower back, stop there and relax your shoulders, let them round. Let the head fall heavy. Observe any sensation on this side. Notice if there's any gripping anywhere in the body, maybe the thigh, maybe the shoulders or anywhere in the face as well, the jaw. If in your stillness you find you've lost any sensation, maybe you need to drop a little bit heavier. Maybe your edge has given in and you have a new edge. Or if you feel pain, 
make sure you're not pushing or pulling yourself into a shape and maybe back off a little bit And on your inhale, walk your hands slowly back towards your hips. And take your time to get out. You might feel quite intense in your lower back. Take your time to bring the arms to the back of your mat or just on the ground. Open the chest. I am moving through centre now. So having both legs out wide, if you don't want to have the legs completely straight, that's fine as well. You can gently bend the knees and bring the feet flat to the ground or just the heel to the ground. And try to keep both sitting bones on the ground as you fold forwards. So as we're folding, we don't have to fold a huge amount. As much as you need to, you can stay half up on the hands, you can fall down onto the forearms. And wherever you get, let the feet be floppy, falling in or falling out, depending on your hip rotation. And relax the head down, relax the shoulders. Find your stillness. Notice if you're gripping into the glutes or the legs. Maybe you're holding the head, he the head uh, or the shoulders ten um, with tension and try to let go of that tension. Remind yourself to soften. Just a few more moments here.
and inhale to bring yourself back up to seated walk your hands slowly towards your sitting bones and to bring the feet, the feet back to center do it one side at a time so hold on to the back of your left knee bring your left foot to the ground and right side the same thing hold on to the back of your knee gently bend it bring both feet a bit wider than the hips soles of the feet to the ground and windshield wiper the knees from side to side We stay there for quite a bit of time, so take your time to counter pose as well as your time in the pose. But take the movements as slowly as possible. So we're still practicing a yin practice. We don't want to make it, we don't want to make it too yang in the movements between the postures. And then bring yourself back to center. From here, we're moving up onto our hands and knees. So moving ourselves to a tabletop position. Bring in the knees under your hips. This is the only thing to remember. Keep the knees and the hips in line. So the hips keep pointing up as we move to thread the needle. So left hand stays on the ground, right arm threads underneath the left, giving a little bit of attention to our shoulders. Try to keep the hips pointing up to the ceiling. Head look out, looks out to the left. The left arm can be really soft, bending the elbow. I'm trying to keep space in between the right ear and the right shoulder. Staying here about a couple of minutes. Feeling into all sensations at the right shoulder. Maybe you even feel mild extension in that lower back area. And that's fine. We often feel an extension. We are in a mild extension here, so that's completely normal to feel sensations there. As long as they're not painful. Two more deep breaths here. And gently bring in the left hand down towards your head. And press yourself back up to hands and knees and take a moment before we move to the other side. Notice how that right shoulder feels compared to the left shoulder. Maybe you want to hug the shoulder blades together and then spread them apart, press onto the ground. And then moving to the other side. Right hand is on the ground, left arm threads. And then your right arm can be nice and soft. Try to keep the hips dragged over the knees.
right hand down on the ground next to your face and then press yourself up to your hands and knees slowly and from here we're moving on to a deeper back extension into stinks so bringing ourselves all the way down to our front and down to the ground shifting the legs back and bringing ourselves up onto our forearms so either um, bringing the forearms closer to our body will give us a little bit more sensations in the lower back if we want a little bit less we can bring arms further away from us and have it be a little bit more gentle in the lower back feet can be as wide as the mat to release wider than the hips so we can soften all the way up through the legs and although the target area here is the lower back there's also a sensation in the chest and the shoulders trying to keep them open but you can drop the head heavy this is another one that you can use a block for you can bring it under your forehead and try to soften the glutes as much as you can try not to grip into them Let the head also be heavy. Keep breathing deeply into the belly if you can. And if you can, also in and out through the nose. And if that's not available, of course, you're welcome to breathe out and in through the mouth. You can even have the palms to face up to the ceiling if that helps you sh um, bring the shoulders a little bit farther down on your back and closer together. breaths here and on your next exhale bring yourself down to your front bring the forwards to your hands or your forearms and just take a moment here Take your hands either side of your chest and we're transitioning up to hands and knees and then down to child's pose. So press yourself up to your hands and knees. As you come up, bring the big toes together. You can stay in a narrow-legged child's pose if you prefer and sit back to the heels. 
or have the knees out wide and still sit back to the heels. If you don't reach the heels, that's fine as well. Just start to fall forward and bring your upper body down to the ground. Now, obviously, if you have props, you can bring a blanket under your sitting bones in between them and the heels. You can bring a block, you can bring a pillow. So anything that feels um, comfortable for your knees, really, to have enough space, not have any pressure in the knees. And then you can lay the arms forward, let the forehead come down to the ground, or again, if you have props, pillow, block, or you can even hug a bolster. Return to your breath here. I love using child's pose, not just for decompressing my lower back, but also um, other physical um, benefits, obviously, of stimulating the meridian because we meridians because we are practicing a yin practice, but also um, the ankles, the ankle joint, the feet, the hips, and the lower back. But it's also a great posture to come back to yourself. Notice how you're feeling. Notice your breath. Any emotion. Any reoccurring thought. It's being a little bit more mindful of yourself. A posture of opening up the heart towards the heart. But also a posture of safety, safety of you being protected by your back. The heart isn't closed. I will leave you here today. Please stay for as long as you feel it's comfortable for you to stay. If you want to, you can transition to Shavasana. I hope you enjoyed this practice. And if you did, please join me again and subscribe to the channel. I'd be really grateful. Thank you very much.